All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone. It is the Nature Man. Thanks for tuning in to another adventure. Today, we are back in the woods at one of my favorite spots. I call it my hideaway gem in the woods or something like that. But, yeah, today we're going to do a setup with the tent and my tarp. Now, the goal for today is a rain gear test. It's predicted rain later on this afternoon, so I should have enough time to get both set up and be able to relax and cook a meal. But the whole idea is to see how well it performs. Will the tent leak? I don't know. Will the tarp leak? I don't know. We're going to find out. Either I'm going to be completely soaked by the time this day is over, or I'm going to be dry. We'll see in, in, in the gear. But anyways, let me get this pack off and figure out where I'm going to put everything. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in today. Let's get this adventure going. All right, folks, as you can see, I do have the tent set up. Now, the funny thing is, I just checked the forecast a few minutes ago. And right now, it's only showing cloudy skies with no rain in the forecast. Uh, we had a 40% chance of rain this afternoon around 1 o'clock, and now it's saying, nope, no rain. So I honestly don't know if I'm going to have a an opportunity to test this tent out to see whether or not it leaks. Who knows? Hopefully it does rain a little bit. I do want a little bit of rain. I mean, I don't want complete downpours, although that would be awesome too, but who knows I, I really don't know but anyways i do have the tarp set up behind me and as you can see i have the sleeping pad over my other tarp the as my ground sheet and i'm just gonna chill out over there for a little bit relax cool off i have been sweating because it's humid but cool so it's it's kind of a weird day you know it's supposed to rain but not going to be raining it's humid but it's cool the sun is trying to peek through it's just I think Mother Nature is just absolutely confused today. She really is. So I'm going to get over there and just chill out for a little bit, relax, and I'll bring you guys back in a moment. All right, folks, as you can see, we just had a light passing shower. It is still sprinkling a little bit right now, so we do have some rain on the rainfly and on the tarp. Nothing substantial as of the moment to really test the performance of both, but it is raining very lightly. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's, that's what I want, folks. So hopefully it will start to come down a little bit heavier. And we can really see how both the tarp and this tent is going to perform. Here it comes, folks. Check this out. All right, I'm going to get back under the tarp so I don't get my phone completely wet because I can't operate the phone when it's completely wet. So let me get back where it's dry and I'll bring you back in just a moment.
Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, folks. So we just had a second downpour and it came down pretty hard and fast. So we definitely have rain on the rain fly for the tent and on the tarp. For the tarp, I did have to make a quick change. I had to drop this corner down a little bit. And I also lowered this side as well. But as you can see, there is some pooling. And that's just because I really didn't have the tightest pitch for the angle coming down. You can see that slope, that dip. Now for the tent, as you can see, it has a good pitch on the back side of it. There is some sagging in the front and I didn't open up the vent. So I don't know if that's gonna have an effect on rain getting inside, but we're gonna find out in just a moment. But yeah, it finally did rain, which is awesome. And I did put the rain jacket on just because I didn't want to get completely soaked when it was downpouring while I had to readjust the lines for the tarp. But I'm going to cool off for a minute and let it stop dripping. And then we'll open up the tent and see how it did with this little bit of rain that we just had. All right, folks. So I think it stopped raining enough that we can open up the rain fly, take a look inside and see do we have any leakage inside of this tent. All right, I'm going to do as carefully as possible, folks, to make sure none of this moisture on the outside of the tent gets inside. All right, a few drops have, are falling onto the screen here, just to let you know, but we're gonna go ahead and open this up and take a look inside. Okay, let me show you what's going on. All right, so when I open this up, the drops of water that are on here have fallen over to here. So those drops have just come from this when I opened it up. That's not coming from the rain we just had. So let's take a look inside and see if there's any other spots. Nothing in this corner. Nothing in that corner. Okay, I'm gonna carefully get inside and you're coming with me folks. So we're gonna take a look here and see. And I don't see, no, no leakage. <laughs> okay, so you can see, hopefully you can see this where this side here, the rain fly is a lot closer to the mesh net. It may, it may be some drops here on the outside, but now yeah, we are completely dry on the inside. And again, these drops is when I first opened this up, some drops fell right in the beginning here, but Yeah, she's dry. There's the ventilation on that side. And I just want to sit for a minute and see if putting some pressure on the uh, ground sheet here will cause any of the moisture to rise to the surface. A lot of people that are doing this testing don't really do that either. I know they put their they put all their gear in and stuff like that, but this was just a test, and so far, so good. All right, let me. Uh, I mean, really, the only moisture 
is from me. All right, let me get out for a second. Whew. All right, so as you folks can see, the only moisture is coming from me when I opened up the tent. Now, I really couldn't stake this out as tight as I wanted to because of the way the ground is. So that's going to have an effect on possibly some drops of water getting inside. But let me go ahead and seal the sack back up and I'll be with you in just a moment. Really? All right, folks. So the good news is I would say we've had success today, both with the tarp and with the tent. First off, let's talk about the tarp performance wise. When it started to downpour, you noticed, well I noticed there was some sagging here in the middle. That was, that was my fault because I really didn't pitch correctly to compensate for when it did rain. Maybe what I should do is I've had this side lower to the ground and this way I would have had a place for it to angle off. Again, that's my fault. That's not the fault of the tarp. So, human error. But as far as keeping me dry, this con containment of area is dry. The rest of the ground outside of it did get the rain. So the good news is it does do its job like it's supposed to. It protects you from the rain. <laughs> and hopefully you can see the sun is coming out, which is a good thing because I want to get this stuff to dry out as much as possible before I pack it away. Now, let's talk about the tent. The tent. How did it perform? Well, in my opinion, it performed very well. Albeit this was not a heavy downpour for hours and hours on end, but it was a downpour. It was rain. And the whole point of coming out here was to test out the gear in the rain. <laughs> now, as you noticed, when I opened up the door, there was some moisture, some drops of water fell in the very front of the doorway. Now, that could be a design flaw with this tent because when you open up the door the angle that I had the front I well first off I didn't have the vent open so that wasn't stretched out as much as it possibly should have been so that could be the reason why it didn't have enough of an angle for the water to fall down this way and then straight down uh, but anyways it hit the mesh and then some drops got inside the tent but as far as overall did it leak inside no it did not and as you saw there was a good downpour there was a lot of rain that came down obviously with the uh, tarp you've seen how much pooling and sagging there is so that shows the amount of water we had right now the sun is coming out which is perfect because that will allow my stuff to dry out so when i go to pack it away it shouldn't be completely soaked and really the only thing is the tarp and the rain fly for the tent so Am I pleased with the performance of the tent? Absolutely. Now, would I love to do a longer test period? Absolutely. But I have to take what I can get when I get it on the days that I can get out here to do the testing. So hopefully this will give you an idea of how this tent will perform in the rain as well as this tarp. So if you're interested in both, you can check them out on Amazon. I will have links in the description below for both the tent and for the one wind tarp if it's still available keep in mind i also use the aqua crest tarp and that one has been an amazing tarp for different setups but overall for today i would say we passed we passed the test for the rain on both so i'm going to uh i don't know just relax a little bit longer let things dry off and then uh pack up and head on out so if this video has been helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor, hit that like button because it does help with push the video out to more users to see it. And also, if you want to subscribe and you want to see more content, feel free to do so as well. I'm always out there trying out new things and I just want to bring uh, the outdoors to you folks and the experiences you can have, whether you're out there when it's humid and you're perspiring like a wet t-shirt contest, or it's raining on your gear, or it's a sunny day, or whatever it might be, just to get out there and to enjoy those moments. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more adventures. 
Get dirty with nature, enjoy every moment of life, and I'll see you very soon.